Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, yeah. Well, you know what? Today is a very, very special weekend because what day? What are we celebrating? Fourth of July. What? Fourth of July. That's right. We're celebrating the Fourth of July. Now, I have to sh share something with you. When I was young, like you guys, I went to public school. Who goes to public school here? Yeah, hello. Yeah, I went to public school, and every Friday, it was Assembly Friday. And look at that boy and that girl up there. Do you see how they're dressed? They have to wear red, white, and blue. Well, that's how we had to wear every Friday. We had to wear a white shirt, a red bow, and a blue skirt every Friday. And every Friday, we learned to be good citizens. Yes, you go to your house. Yeah. But in, in school, we learn to be good citizens. And we learn what it is to be an American. And do you know what we did in school? The next slide. Look. It says we used to pledge allegiance. Does anyone remember the pledge of... I think, I think the grown-ups know the pledge of... Do any of the grown-ups know the pledge of allegiance? Okay. Well, help me. Help me teach them. Because I don't think they learned it. Do you learn the pledge of allegiance in school? Okay. Good, good. So stand up, everyone. Because you can't do it sitting down. And put your right hand over your heart, except you too. Because you can't. <laughs> and repeat with me. I pledge to the flag of the United States and to the republic. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's great. And then we sing the national anthem. And then, thank you, you can sit down. Well, we used to do that every Friday. But you know what? As I got older, I understood what the 4th of July meant. It was a celebration of freedom. How many of you like to be free? But Julissa and Alondra are not free. They're not free. They are tied up. And in Jesus, I learned that you could be free. You can be free from all your sins. You don't have to be tied down to any bad memories. Because with Jesus, you're made a new creature. And every time I understand freedom now, and I think of the 4th of July, I thank my Jesus. Because he freed me from everything that's holding me back. Go ahead. There you go. And Jesus takes all my sins away. I don't, have to, I don't have to sin anymore. I don't have to be worried or guilty about sinning or disobeying when I disobey mom or dad. I don't have to feel bad about it because I know that Jesus frees me. Can you guys wave hello to us now? Can you guys move your feet? Oh, you're still tied. You're still tied. My feet. That's okay. That's okay, because Jesus comes, <laughs> not, not Miss Linda here. Miss Linda tied a knot, so you're going to have to step out of that one. But Jesus frees us from everything. So now we have our Pledge of Allegiance, and we have our United States flag, but we also have another flag here, and it's called the Christian flag. And we have a Pledge of Allegiance to the Christian flag. So I want us all to stand up. And we're going to recite the Christian pledge, or recite the Christian flag. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Amen. Jesus makes us free. Thank you, Jesus. So let's pray, and you may return to your seats. Dear Jesus, thank you, Lord, for setting us free because you died on the cross, but you rose, and you're coming back for us. And we don't have to be tied to sin anymore. We don't have to be tied to bad memories because you're going to give us brand new memories, and you make us new creatures. Thank you for loving us that much. And help us, Father, to remember that we are also good citizens of this nation. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, you may see. Bye.